you had the NFL players, man, get together and put together a powerful, powerful message supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, supporting the protests that are going on. And uh, one of the uh, NFL's current darlings, you know, their gold star, Patrick Mahomes made an appearance in the video. Uh, and, and, and he showed his support for Black Lives Matter and for the movement that's currently going on. Now, shortly after that, because in the video, the players demanded an apology from the NFL. And shortly, very shortly after that, an apology was handed down from Roger Goodell. Many people think that was because of the leverage that Patrick Mahomes holds over the NFL, being, you know, the number one guy right now, the, 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 the guy they're trying to market the most. What do you guys think about the message that those players put out? And uh, what do you guys think about uh, the power that Patrick Mahomes had in that? That was cool. I'm glad he. I'm, I'm glad he stepped up. You know, I, I'm glad everybody. You know, I'm glad the NFL. You know, trying to take that the opportunity to do, you know, make a little statement. It, it was. It was. It was all right. You know. I, I, I thought about it. I thought it was. Um, I thought it was big. Uh, not not anything monumental, just you know, for him supporting because I feel like he did what the right thing to do. I think he's on the right side of history here. But I thought it was big because now the NFL can't get around it. Your biggest star, the biggest face. Uh, how, how do you go against him? I mean, he the players have the leverage. I mean, as much as the owners want to feel like they 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 have the leverage, at the end of the day, man, people aren't buying. Uh, uh, I can't can't even think of an owner's name right now because ain't nobody I, I ain't nobody it. buying a Dan Snyder Dan jersey. Snyder yeah no <laughs> ain't nobody Snyder buying a jersey like <clears throat> Mahomes and, and he's the guy and it's a beautiful branding and I think it shows up uh, not even just the NFL all the guys that want to endorse him the Nike the Adidas or whoever Powerade Gatorade anybody that wants to back him now has to back back that statement so I thought it was a big move for him I thought it was a big move for the, the culture. Man, as a huge NFL fan, I was ecstatic to see this. This reminded me of something the NBA players would do. I think it's about time that the NFL players start start taking their power and 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 using it, forcing the NFL into situations whether the NFL wants to do it or not. Uh, we saw how fast Goodell came out with that, um, and I do think that had a lot to do with Patrick Mahomes being in it. Um, but I, I think it's bigger than just Patrick Mahomes too. I think it matters having the stars, obviously. But the more players from the more different teams you get in it, especially players like DeAndre Hopkins, a guy like that who has a clean record, does a ton in the community. Like people, people love DeAndre Hopkins. You know, you can't you can't really tear down people like that. So when you get guys that that are universally loved by pretty much all the fans and they're standing up and saying stuff like that, uh, it's really going to get the NFL's attention and it'll it'll help make change in that league. I think it helps nah, a little no. quarterback though. You know, yeah. Patrick Mahomes being a quarterback, basically on your 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 NFL, he's going to be the face of the league for the next like five to ten years, like you say. Like he's that 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 they they have no no way to avoid it. You know, he's he's the, he's the guy. So yeah, yeah he's on the cover of Madden right now. So you yeah. pop in that Madden, you see you see Patrick Mahomes. You can't not see him. He just won the Super Bowl. You know, yeah, yeah nah, and and I think that uh. I think I think the NFL, man, I think they've proven time and time again to be nothing more than a than a risk management business, right? With this move, they're just managing the risk because uh, you know, the last thing they can afford is to have Patrick Mahomes kneeling. That's the last thing they can afford, right? I mean, imagine that. Imagine the NFL season started, NFL never made this apology, and players still had to take it into their own hands, which I still believe we'll have even more of. But I mean, you talking about protests and national anthem. This could have got to where one, kickoffs at 1:05 p.m. and then 1:15, every player is at midfield on a knee. What are they going to do if that happens, right? And what are they going to do if Patrick Mahomes, of all people, you know, a, a biracial player? What are they going to do if he's the ringleader of that, right? And not only that, taking it a step further, let's think about where Patrick Mahomes plays. This is Kansas City. This is the this is the Midwest. This is this is red. This is Trump territory, you know, <laughs> for the most part, right? Uh, think about the statement that he's making. I mean, this this is this is powerful, man. And honestly, I, I when I saw the video and uh, when I saw my homes in it, I think that uh, you know, I honestly, I honestly can't. I I, I, was, I was I was super happy, man. I was super pleased because like I don't know Patrick Mahomes too much from what he does on the field, and he's spectacular on the field, right? And I and I've, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I never really took him as a type 
to necessarily speak out on this, right? But I saw I saw something posted that said the man's middle name is Levon. They say you knew you knew my man couldn't be silent, right? And I and I, and I, and I love to see it. I love to see it, man. So shout out to Pat Mahomes, and uh, that's how you use your leverage to make some change. That's how you use your leverage to at least start some change. So shout out, shout out to Pat Mahomes, man. I, I think I think that was major. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Pat Mahomes is my son, six year old. He that's his favorite player. So you can only imagine he's a lot of kids' favorite player. So I have a black son, but. A lot of little uh, kids of all races now running around their favorite players saying Black Lives Matter. So whether their parents like it or not, you know, the kids are going to follow suit. Yeah, man. My son's favorite player right now is Patrick Mahomes, too, man. I've been trying to push this Dwayne Haskins thing, but it ain't working out. <laughs> I ain't going to have to get some W's first, that's for sure. <laughs>